Uh, I, I just wanted to talk about SAEX here in this pop that it just did and the way I've drawn the, the, the channel lines and that kind of thing on it and also the, pop, the likelihood of catching this trade because you see this pop and you think oh my god I should be in this trade but so the SEX obviously gapped halt gap halt up and down and then it got into this, uh, this big trend and it made this double top and uh, and then pulled back now I'm not drawing the trend line this this uh, wedge line to the top of these I think this is more realistic to draw it connecting all these dots in here and all these dots in here so we've got this wedge uh, really I guess in a descending triangle which is we don't know where the bottom is going to be and you can see that the, it's very low volume ebb here especially as it comes into the into the apex and then you get this this trade here there's no volume you know it is moving up it comes to the top of the channel but it breaks through this channel on this huge volume here so now this is midday it's 11 o'clock so the traders are back but unless you're watching this stock every instant of the trade there's no way you catch this trade and anybody that says they caught it they're either a very lucky or b lying because unless you're absolutely have your finger on the trigger the minute the second that this pops out of here like this and through you know within you know a minute or like within seconds this thing pops and then away it goes over 1830 you know unless you're watching this absolutely every second of the trade there's no way you catch this trade so don't feel bad if you didn't catch it I didn't catch it mind you I was doing something else I wasn't watching it but you have to be watching something like this every, and you don't know if it's gonna pop like that you could never and actually I had an analogy about this uh, a month or so ago about how in the olden days I used to hunt birds pheasants and upland game birds and you had to always be walking with your finger on the trigger because when the dog out in front scared the birds it was you had instantaneously lift your gun up take the safety off and pull the trigger um, to try and catch you know try and catch a bird but and this is exactly the same thing you have you and so when you're walking through the bush with the dog or the upland the upland areas with the dogs you had to be absolutely ready at all absolutely ready at all times you couldn't let your focus drift away for an instant and if you did you missed the bird and this is exactly the same kind of thing you'd have to be watching this thing so closely all the time and when it started to pop here you had to pull the trigger to catch it so don't feel bad if you missed it and now you don't want to chase it